Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be a demonstration on how to fix one of these Chamberlain Whisper Drives. Uh, this is a model from 2002, and these have a common problem with bad solder joints. So we're going to take apart this thing and see what's going on. Uh, as you see, there's a blinking code on it for the yellow LED. It blinks five times, and five times means that it has a bad RPM sensor in it. So I'm going to dig into this unit, and I'm going to show you what's wrong with it and the common problems that it has associated with it. In this particular case, uh, the travel stopped midway through, which indicates there's an electrical problem, an intermittent connection, possibly. So we're going to take a look at this unit and see if there's a, another bad solder joint. In the past, I fixed a bad solder joint on the on the circuit board where the power supply interfaces the logic board. Uh, there was a bad joint on there about five years ago. So let's open this back up and let's see if there's something else wrong. I've also noticed that I do have power, but if I press the light switch, uh, the light switch doesn't come on. And if I operate the door, all I hear is like a relay clicking and nothing's happening. So there's something definitely going on inside that uh, has an inter intermittent issue. The first thing we got to do for disassembly is pull the power. You do not want to be working on these while there's power. And there is also residual power in here that you need to be aware of. You have two machine screws here and here, and you have a bottom machine screw down here. We'll take the bulb out, and you also need to remove these wires. Um, looks like red to red, white to white. You will have a white wire and then a white wire with a black stripe on it. Make sure that the white wire with the black stripe is on the black location. There seems to be two wire harnesses connected to the circuit board, so I will remove those from the top up here, and then we'll get inside of here. So we're inside, and the main safety concern is this. You do not want to touch that capacitor. It has residual power. And this is our RPM sensor. Uh, it's a photo gate, and it detects the, the motor spinning. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but just check around, make sure there's the gears are clean and there's no spider webs inside this, this sensor here. Um, and we may take that off as well to clean it. Here's the power supply board and the logic board. And a lot of people, what they do for a solution is they just replace the logic board or the power board or they change out the RPM sensor in there. Um, that may not fix everything. So what you have to do is you have to just take everything, all the electronics apart, and you just have to inspect them to see what's the actual issue. These things are very simple. And um, just, just taking it apart and just looking at what the parts look like, pretty much 90% you will, you'll solve it. Uh, without just blindly ordering a logic board. So I'm going to show you how to look for this this issue. And the main problem with these boards is that they have bad solder joints. Um, they could have burned up solder joints. So we're going to take this apart and look to see what's the issue. So here are the two circuit boards. And what we're doing is we're visually inspecting for anything that might be out of question here. So these capacitors, when they get old, they may swell or they may leak. And basically these are like little batteries that stabilize the power. And I don't see anything wrong with these capacitors. Uh, even over on the power board, uh, that capacitor is looks normal. So let's, let's, look, let's look at the cold solder joints. It's a common problem on these boards. 
So here we'll look at the fillets of the solder joints. Uh, they look okay here. Um, it, and five years ago, I had to repair uh, this connector here. The solder joint was was bad, and that was causing an issue with the door not opening. And sometimes the power on the logic board was just off. And so we would get no response from time to time on this garage door opener. Now let's go look at the solder joints on here. And oh, we see that this part right here is burnt. It indicates a poor solder joint. Um, and that has to do with the lights. There's the relay for the light. You have a relay for the down motor and the up. I believe it's somewhere on here. Uh, up. It's way back in there. But yeah, so what's happening is the light on the garage door is not coming on and that relay board knows it and so what the relay board does say I'm gonna throw a code and I'm gonna tell the person that there's something wrong here and I'm not going to operate so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this solder joint with soldering iron and we'll be back in business it's a common problem on these sometimes you don't even need to throw parts at it to fix it Here's the repair, or should I say ugly repair, of that solder joint um, by removing the old solder and using a lot of flux and cleaning to clean the pad. Unfortunately, half my pad was there, and this is all I have to work with. Um, but I think the solder joint is sufficient enough to where it makes the logic board happy and run the lights, and we're back in business. For this particular problem, the RPM sensor is not the culprit. However, if you want to, you can clean it by popping out this little tab here on the side of the circuit board. And you can pop that out and clean it or replace it. But for my particular issue, there is nothing to be done. So we will be putting this back together. So I just plugged it in and my lights come on, which is a good sign. You want the door to be locked in its place for when we need to move it. And now for the moment, did we fix it? Success. And that solved it. Bad solder joint. You guys have a lot of common problems with these uh, Whisper Drive Chamberlain garage door openers. Uh, very simple and easy to fix. So yeah, just take it apart, check for solder joints.